falling, I'm falling, I'm falling Shouldn't be closing me, I could be making it all up, you know tuning in this is unapologetically me featuring me no special guest just me so uh, we're gonna go into a little bit more about bob saget and these interesting circumstances surrounding his death um if you haven't checked out my other video uh titled eight injuries um you can go ahead and check that out the link will be in the description box um i haven't quite figured out how to get the cars to pop up yet so it'll be in the description box you can go check that out first if you have already seen it um we're just gonna go on from um some of the new things that i have found out so let's jump right in um so they're now saying that um he possibly has hit he he hit his head or he fell two times so let's first go over the first few narratives that we were told or led to believe up until this point so we were told initially that it looked that bob saget had passed away peacefully in his sleep and a lot of people were kind of under the assumption that it might be uh have, he might have had a heart attack um heart disease ran in his family and you know, so that was, you know, usually when someone passes away peacefully in their sleep, it is because of that. So that's what we initially thought. Then, you know, people started to speculate maybe it was drugs because Bob Saget had had a history with substance abuse. And so that kind of went for a little bit too while we were waiting for results of the autopsy. The autopsy comes back and what did we find that he actually passed away from a subdural hematoma and that had a lot of people immediately questioning okay um subdural hematoma what is that and i go into all of his injuries in that the last video that i made about him and so it, it, with photos and everything not of him but of the skull and you know what fractures looked like and things like that so again if you want to you know check that out go for it um but based off of a subdural hematoma we thought okay it, it could be possible that he fell and he hit his head and he kind of was all right and then laid down and passed away in his sleep <sighs> then the autopsy report came out and anyone who was interested in seeing the cause of death could go and check that out. And I did that. And what I found was shocking. Um, he had eight injuries to his skull, you guys. It was not just a subdural hematoma. He had several other injuries, including linear fractures, uh, orbital fractures, fractures, where the orbit of the eyes, those bones were shattered, shattered. He had another bleed in a different area. So to say that he did not have some sort of major, major injury to the head is a gross understatement. So once the information about the head injury came out, we were told that he hit his head on the headboard. Um, okay, that's cool. But a lot of people took to Google and did exactly what I did and they went to the Ritz Carlson Orlando or yeah Ritz Carlson Orlando's hotel rooms and took a look at what the headboards look like and uh, from what you can see here they're all padded they're all padded most of them go up all the way to almost the ceiling every single bed in that establishment that they picture on their website is padded so okay try again investigators tell us something else so now they are saying that he fell in the bathroom and hit his head on the marble floor okay that's another great uh assumption to make but to fall back on a marble floor 
you would hit a certain part of your head. And I'm gonna use my little buddy back over here to show you. This is my little buddy. He's a Halloween decoration and I use him in my videos. He's just cool, I like him back there. I have a thing for skulls and um, I don't know, he's out here. But because he's out here, I realized in my last video I didn't utilize him and I didn't think to until I saw him in the background. So let's see here. You fall down backwards and you hit your head. What is gonna hit the ground? This, right? This this area. This is your occipital bone. This is actually a very hard bone, the hard part of your skull. So you might crack this, right? But his major injury was actually to the base of his skull. And if you didn't know, you would think the base of the skull is here, right? It's not. It's actually deep within here. So you would need something concave to kind of get into that area to create a a skull fracture like that, um, such as a baseball bat. Um, they didn't even say anything about maybe he fell and you know hit his head on the edge of the marble sink, which may have fit in there enough to make that a reality. <laughs> but that's not what they said. So they're saying on the floor. So when you fall on the floor, you're not the floor isn't going to get in here to the base of your skull. It's going to hit. You're going to hit on the occipital. Now, when I said about the orbital fractures, these parts of his eyes were shattered, shattered. And when you get a basilar skull fracture as well, you get the raccoon eyes. Now these can develop between one and three, between one and three days. So it could be that that's why he didn't um, show signs of that right away. That could be why they didn't see that. But if they had seen that, um, to say he died peacefully in his sleep is, a, again, a gross understatement. So the narrative that they have been pushing most recently is that he fell, he lost consciousness, he then woke up and then found his way to the bed and went to sleep. That, honestly, based off of all the injuries, makes zero sense to me. If he had lost consciousness at any point due to those injuries, I don't think he would have regained consciousness. And neither do a lot of experts. So what I just read recently, as in a day or so ago, is that now they're saying he may have fallen twice. So what is that? He falls backwards, hits his head, goes unconscious, stands up, falls again, and then what? What's your narrative after that? How does he get to the bed and cover himself up like as if he's just going to sleep? This doesn't make sense. Nobody thinks that this makes sense because it doesn't. And the family now is saying that they don't want any of the information out. Why? Why not? Why are you not questioning this? And one of the biggest questions that I had in my last video too was, where's the security footage to prove that he was alone? Well, I'll tell you, investigators did talk about some security footage that they had reviewed. In the security footage, investigators said that they saw Bob Saget get off of the elevator on the ninth floor, which was the floor his room was on, go to his room, go in his room, put a do not disturb sign on the door handle, and then close and proceed to lock the door from the inside. Okay, so you see him go to his room, that's great. How do you know he locked the door from the inside? And why would you even say that? Because for one, you didn't see that on a security cam that only covered the hallway. So that's a little bit sus. And you didn't, you, you didn't say anything about there being a camera in the room, obviously. So how did you know he did that? And why are you trying to push that narrative so much? Because they also talked a lot about it from the beginning about how it was manually locked from the inside and they had to figure out how to get in it. So they had to manually to do stuff to get in because he had manually locked himself in that room, basically pushing that he was in there alone and that this is the proof. Why are you pushing so hard? 
why are you even saying on a security camera that's in a hallway outside of his room? You knew that he locked it. So that right now really strikes me as very suspicious. And I don't know why they, they even brought that up. So, okay. Now, they say that he got off the elevator at about 2 a.m. But at the beginning of this whole thing, they said that the key card had shown one time that that door opened. And it was at 2.17 a.m. So it takes from 2 a.m. to 2.17 a.m. for him to unlock his door. It took him 17 minutes to walk from the elevator to his room. Now that says as fuck. I don't understand that at all. That does not make sense. So what time is off? The security camera or the key card? Because it could not have taken him more than a minute or two, five if we're going to stretch it, to get from the elevator to his, his room. Now, another interesting thing that I found out when I started looking at the Ritz-Carlton, I started checking out their rooms and everything and their amenities, entrances, things like that. And the one thing that caught my eye that I'm surprised I never even thought to mention and that no one else has seemed to have caught is that these rooms like any other hotel room it say you and your family want to go and get hotel rooms together what do you do you get adjoining rooms so some of these suites were able to have adjoining rooms so the room next to you has access to you now not if you don't want them to but if we want to go into conspiracy theory number one which is kelly rizzo had him taken out or somebody somebody had him taken out um did they have a room right next door and they were able to access his room or have him go into their room where a crime was committed and then come and lay him back in bed and go back into their room and check out and whatever that's how it would explain the door being locked from the inside and all of that now do we have security footage of the rooms next to him? Do we even know if his room was an adjoining room? Do we have any of this information? We do not. But I think it will be very, very important to get it. And I don't know why Kelly Rizzo nor his children would want to find this information out. So the fact that they are trying to hide this information or keep it from the public um, I can understand certain reasons why, but in this instance, because this is so questionable, I have to question them. This brings me to Kelly Rizzo and an interview that she and Bob had done shortly before his passing. And I'm going to show you a clip of that right now. Yeah. I was wrestling with it a lot, and that's why you thought I didn't like you, because I kind of didn't want to like you, because I thought it was a very... You know, like, what are my friends going to think? What's my family going to think? I'm with somebody that's so much older. Kelly went on to give a list of her favorite you know, movies you. as they talk about how they love to snuggle up in bed. And that's when he made that eerie prediction. But so I don't have long to live. These are your favorites. I'm going to be found dead in bed. You better watch out. In this clip, you can see they're talking about movies that she likes and um them being like mob movies hitman movies and you know bob makes a little comment about it and uh she says better watch out and what and then she her face in the whole thing is like she just immediately changed the subject she doesn't joke about it afterwards she doesn't say i'm just kidding i would never you know um she doesn't say no, I, that would never happen to you because I watch all these movies. I would know how to, you know, protect you or whatever. She doesn't say anything. All she says is better watch out. Um, so she's looking a little bit sus, if not sus as fuck in my opinion. Um, just the fact that that happened exactly the way he said, I, oh, I better, you know, be careful. I'm going to be found dead in bed. And she says, you better watch out. Wow. Um, so I don't know. What do you guys think about this information? I, I, there's so many things that I feel like the answers, we could get answers if we could get some surveillance footage, if we could get, um, what exact room he was in and did it have an adjoining room? What other people on that floor, 
you know have they been questioned has you know entrances exits supposedly that evening he was joking around in the lobby just fine you know went upstairs to his room got out put the do not disturb sign on his door and somehow sustained injuries that have only been seen in falls from 30 to 40 feet car accidents motorcycle accidents recreational vehicle accidents non-helmeted sports accidents getting your fucking ass kicked incidences baseball bat to the head incidences and yet we're supposed to believe that he fell and then peacefully went to sleep it doesn't add up. The characterization of Bob Saget's death does not match with the findings of an autopsy report. Here are the new details. Comedian Bob unlikely that Saget would have intentionally ignored this, rather it would likely have left him confused or unconscious. It remains unclear though how exactly such a significant fall could have taken place. According to the autopsy, no alcohol or illegal drugs were found in Saget, though there was evidence of clonazepam, a drug used to avoid seizures and treat panic attacks, and trazodone, an antidepressant. It was also found to have an enlarged heart, but this was also not linked to his death in the autopsy report, and neither was the fact that he tested positive for coronavirus. And you know, the investigators are now realizing that we're not stupid, we're gonna ask questions. We all have Google, we all have access to, you know, finding out certain information and, you know, this whole keeping it a secret too with Kelly Rizzo, I, I'm not understanding it. I'm just not, not, not in this situation. I would understand it if it were already known that something horrible happened to him. And she's like, look, he was killed. And I really don't want these photos out because they're traumatic and it's killing our family. But that's not the case. It was a, an accident yet we can't we can't see and it's not just us that can't see it this lawsuit or this this legal action that she took makes it to where nobody can access this unless she is present and she okays it so that means any private investigators anything like that so the only way that this would start to get looked at is if the fbi were to pick it up and i don't know i don't know i don't know so what do you guys think? Leave some comments in the comment section. Did you know some of this information that I just told you? Because I just found this out and I am just like reeling from it because it does not make sense. Um, somebody can try to make it make sense to me. But this is foul play. This has foul play written all over it, in my opinion. And uh, yeah, so what do you guys think? Um, again, like, subscribe. You definitely don't have to like you know this content as far as it's very tragic and it's very disturbing um but if you think i did a good job putting this together then please go ahead and give it a like it really does help all of us creators out when you do that you have no idea how much a like can do for a creator so um otherwise i will talk to you guys later when i have something else for you have a good week I